takers of his high call call from sin to salvation call from death to life call from strangers into God's family call from wandering to witnesses we are partakers of a holy calling. Hallelujah. We are called to be separate from the world. We all know the verse. So come out from amongst them and separate yourselves from them. And touch not the unclean thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's for another day. We are partakers of a heavenly calling. This life is a race. There are witnesses that are watching us. And so we are called to lay aside every sin. And every way that so easily beset. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love it, sometimes life is a struggle. One, one day, one day, It'll be behind us. But then, then that's when the Lord comes. I want to wrap up. See, we've got to hang in. We've got to stop looking back at the past. And I believe instead we've got to look forward to the future. Can you say amen? I try to just build a picture of what I believe God wants to see. Amen. Amen. As a fellowship, it's now 30 years. Amen. amen. And so, is it that we've just now practiced? I believe it can be better. Amen. Amen. It can be better. And so there is a bright ending. Now one day it will be in heaven. The hoping, the dreaming, the wishing will be over. And we will be with him forever. But in the meantime, what are we doing? Can we put the past behind? And press into the, the future, uh, the present. Can, can we have hope that will carry us beyond? So I just want us to consider these few things as I read this up. Are you considering these truths today? And where do you find yourself? Are you saved? I think that's got to be a priority. It's, it's worth repeating this morning. If you've never given your life to the Lord, you need to give your all to Him. Make a commitment. Press into God. Let your past be the past. Secondly, are you living for the Lord as you should? As a believer, are you living like you should? That's worth repeating this morning. Amen. You see, there's a call to higher things. Are you living for the future? Or are you stuck in the past? Are you pressing for the mark? And are you reaching for the prize? That's as an individual. What about the church? The question I've got to ask is, are we on track? Is all as it should be? 
Are we effectively doing the Lord's work and will? Right, as we celebrate these 10 years, I want to just say it one more time. I remind you that God has blessed us with a great church, with a great fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of us. We are appreciative. We need to be appreciative of what God has done. And it's not singling out any one person. Today I'm singling out as each of us. Hallelujah. God has done great things in our lives. He's done great things for us. And today... As we celebrate, this, particularly for performance, let's not forget what He has done. Hallelujah! I believe that God has great big plans for us. And today, I, and today, I call every individual here and every member of the fellowship to take. These looks serious. I'm asking you to take stock of your life and see where you are. There's something that needs to be sorted out, sorted out. If it is well right now, then run hard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just stand. Yes, amen. Just take somebody by the hand. Just hold it for a moment. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just bow your head. It says we in this attitude. If you need to receive the Lord. I'm not going to give an altar call. Would you just be bold enough to see one of the leaders or even the person you came with? Make Would you love it for the rest of us today? particularly for the church at Popoma we want to thank God for what he has done we want to bless him we give him thanks Father I thank you today thank you for the great thing you have done the way you have moved the way you have undertaken the way you are it is undertaking day by day Father, as an assembly and as believers, as we just join hands, Lord, and as, Father, we just acknowledge your greatness today. I thank you that in the days that lie ahead, Father, as we take stock of the past, we'll see that there's much, much more ahead of us. And Father, as we press in to what you have for us, and as, Lord, we press hard and lay hold of what you have for us, I thank you. It's going to be great joy and great excitement. So, Lord, I just pray for each one here, partakers and participants of what you are doing, Lord. We just give you praise, Lord. Father, I thank you for touching every one of our lives. Today, Father, we are just so thankful that it's you who's made a difference. It's you who's changed us. It's you, Lord, has caused us to be new creatures, a new creation in Christ Jesus. So Lord, we owe our all to you today. Father, I thank you that the prize is more precious than the past. So Lord, we press in. We run hard. Give us, Lord, the stamina. Give us the heart to see what you want and to pursue it, to chase it, to run after it, Lord, individually and collectively. So, Lord, we just bless you today. Thank you. Touch each one. Bless each one, Lord. Father, give us hearts of courage. Father, may we just see the victory that is before us. 
Jesus. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.